40 pound Beyond Braid in the chicken rig. Why does that look like a giant uh -oh. grouper? doing stuff like that, I was doing stuff like this. My name's Joey Antonelli and you're watching my channel. I've grown up in the same area my whole life fishing the same waters with a family full of fishermen. Now I'm on the water more than ever. Thanks for tuning in to another episode and if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now let's get back to the action. <laughs> What is going on everyone? Joey Antonelli here and we have an action-packed video for you but before we get started with it I want to break down something for you real quick and that is the tutorial part of this video. It will be coming in the end of the video. So we're going to go start with all the action uh, and it's chicken rigging. No secret there. If you don't know what it is stick around to the end of the video and I will show you the most productive rig I use and it is an incredibly underrated type of rig. But let's go ahead and get into some action now for you. We got this one going down to the bottom. Mark's hooked up on our first, actually it's our third decent bottom fish of the day. We'll show you the first two in a second because they made it to the box, but I didn't have the camera going yet. We were just kind of getting situated, seeing what was going on. And this feels like a trigger. Mark says trigger, let's see. I like to be very long. Oh, I gotta close my bail. That feels like a trigger. So it looks like the trigger shape. Feels trigger shape. Did you come up off the bottom a little bit? Yep. And it feels trigger swimming around. So we're chicken rigging right now. It's because grouper season's closed. Robin's fishing big baits, looking for maybe a big jack or big snapper. We got top shot. Oh, I got a hit. A little fish on mine. We're gonna call it a trigger. Yeah, he's going out the back. We're gonna call it a trigger. Let's look for that. And we're call, yeah, we're look at that trigger. trigger fish. There you go. That's our trigger. He's got the trigger locked in. Uh oh. There we go. Snapper. Shut that thing off, Mark. That's what we got. We don't like them, but we gotta put up with them sometimes. Let's see what is on the chicken rig. We got a Mondo Bee Liner. That is a good eating fish. Look at the size of that Bee Liner right there. That's what we're looking for. We got a nice little box going. That. Yeah, instantly on. It's instant. It's definitely got more than one fish on. Yep. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh yeah, look at Joey going to chicken rig. Come on, chicken rig. Chicken rigging. Chicken rigging, chicken rigging. We're using the 6,000 Soldex on the five and a half foot carbon shield rod with 40 pound Beyond Braid in the chicken rig. Trying to fill that cooler with some chickens. Okay. Got them way off the bottom now. We hit the bottom and watch how fast it goes. Yeah, Mark's gonna get one here in a sec. Bang. There he yeah, goes. There he is. Fish on. Try to get another one at the same time. All right, come on, come on. Yeah, it's starting to scope out, which means Instant. the fish, the fish is floating a little. Instant. Oh my God. Oh, we got one, Whoa, two, two, three, three. Look at that, that oh porgy. My God. Look at that porgy. Porgy, big porgy, big vermilion. Wow. What's the bottom one? Another vermilion. And another nice one. There we go. Look at that. There we go. That's called chicken. Variety right pack there. right there. Look at that. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that Let's see what Mark's got. You have two hooks or three? Three. Just be careful with my slimy yep. fish back there. All right, we got one. We got two. Double double uh, bee liner, vermilion. Woo! That porgy is giant. I'm very upset. I don't have enough Big old mangroves too. Let's do a little show of the box real quick. We'll show you guys where we're we'll show you where we're standing now. We've got a couple big mangroves. Triggers, porgies, we got everything. Bend the rod right down, unless it was a shot. Oh yeah. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, Joey. That time you got him. Had a girl, Love honey. Love your if you want to. Had a girl, honey. Get it off a little bit first. 
Oh, oh chicken rig on. on. No, no, no. No, no, shark didn't get that. Put it low gear. There you go. Chicken rigs on over chicken here. Rigs. Me and Mark are hooked up. Robin's on the other side with the big fish. We gotta get these fish up to get them out of her way. All right, I got mine. I got a big oh, old yellow tail. Yellow tail in the porgy. Yellow tail. Big porgy. yellow tail. Nice porgy. God, he comes with me in this guy. Who's him? Look at that rod tip. No, he's still there. He's still there. Don't stop. Keep going. Right. I'm just backing up a teeny bit on the drag. Right. Nice fish on. Well off the bottom. I'm going to slide back this way in case he starts coming over towards the motors. There you go. What'd you get, Mark? Another beeline. Look at that variety pack. One drop. Keeper Porgy. Big yellowtail. That's a flag of a yellowtail. And a nice beeliner. And then we got this thing bouncing. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. Nice yes. We're looking for top shot. We're looking for top shot. Takes a little while. But it's going. We also have a flat line to get the trifecta. Well, well we got the trifecta. That's three. Well, I don't know what four is called. But <laughs> quadfecta? I don't know. That sounds weird. But we have the flat line out the back. Maybe right behind me, right like there, you'll see a Wahoos come skying out. At least no shark has right. grabbed this. That's good. Yep. He's coming over to the other side. Mark, can you give her a hand with yep. picking up that rod if you need yep. to? It might be all right, but you're going to want to pick it up anyways. I got color. I got it. I got it. Real? And then Robin, you can grab a gaff. Just try, honey. You can take the uh, There you go. The black, the red cap? Yep. You can take the cap off it. There you go, there you go. Big old fish out big, the back. Big fish. Oh man, look at the size red of that cap. thing. Red cap. Put the cap in your pocket. And then you start walking up front, Mark. I'm gonna get in the boat. Hopefully, hopefully. Big AJ. Hope it's not a grouper. Why does that look like a giant uh -oh. grouper? No way. That is oh like God. a 40 pound gag. Oh. Worthy of a picture and that's about that's it. That's right, we gotta get a picture. Going. Holy shit, you Oh my God, never have I been so sad to see such a giant grouper. That's like a 40 pound gag. Which will not be gagged. Number one was oh my God, <laughs> just came up headless. That's not what we were trying for. All right, let's get right there. Oh my god. That is the man right there. Look at the size of that. Yeah, we'll get a yeah, we'll get a oh my god, look at the size of it. Oh, Christ. That is a giant gag. We got to go ahead. I got to put the camera down. We're going to vent this thing and send him back down. You ready? Come yep. go. Uh, I'll help you. All right, we vented this gag. 40 pound gag. Oh, good, Come on, buddy, make it oh, down. Go, He's go. kicking. There he goes. That is a giant oh, grouper go. going all the way down. Oh man. He's Such on. a shame. Not what we're looking for. We weren't even on bottom. We were like halfway up trying to get oh, a jack. It? So it was pretty cool, but also a heartbreaker to get that fish outside of grouper season. We watched it for a while. It never came up. Hopefully it made it back down and live. But that was a massive gag grouper. Probably, I mean, it was definitely over 40 pounds, 42, 43, something like that. But we're gonna keep plugging away at the chicken rigs. We only got one big rod down. We're just trying to find AJ's really on the big rod. We'd like to get one or two to bring home. You get one? Mark's on on the chicken rig behind me. I'm getting ready to drop this chicken rig down. I might wait till he finishes reeling his in and we'll see what we got. Now you've seen the damage that can be done with the almighty chicken rig. Now I'm gonna show you how I make the chicken rig. The chicken rig is a dropper rig. I usually shy away from the tutorial stuff just cause there's so many not videos. So I'm not gonna go super detailed, but uh, I'll show you how I tie it real quick and show you a couple little tricks with tying it. If you need more, you can look it up on other videos. But you're gonna take your line and I hold it in my hand like that and make a loop. Now where the loop crosses, I pinch it like that. So now you have the top of the loop right here, bottom of the loop down here. I'm gonna take a couple fingers inside to hold the loop open and then I'm gonna take my thumb and pointer finger Index finger? I don't even know the name of my fingers. And I'm gonna grab the bottom of the main line and do a couple twists around. That is what gets tricky. So that's how I use it. I use my pinky and my other finger. So let's do that again for you. We're gonna twist it, then take the bottom of the loop, 
in the line hanging down and twist a few times. You'll see every time there's a wrap, it's one wrap on the top, one wrap on the bottom. It'll do it the same. I do three twists and then you're left with this opening right in the center. Now you're gonna take the top part of your loop, carefully slide it through that opening just like that. Now this is where if you don't do it right, your whole knot can fall apart. So that part coming through, I just hold it in my mouth a little bit, grab the bottom and the top and equal tension, you're gonna kind of slowly pull it away from you. And it's gonna cinch down and make that perfect knot. And what that does is it holds the hook out away from the main line. Instead of a lot of other knots that'll just kind of sag down real low, holds it away. Now that's how you tie the knot. First little tip that I'm gonna give you was taught to me by a friend. When you put your hook on, there's a couple different ways to do it. First, you can cut one of these main lines and tie it on just with whatever knot you normally use. Second, the more common way I would say is looping it on, using this loop to secure your hook. And a lot of people by the way they wanna do it is they slide it on like this. The chicken rig is actually designed to have the hook go in, usually used with circle hooks, go in this way from the same side the point is on. And the reason for that, I'll show you in a sec, but you're gonna go through the hook and then you're just gonna kinda make like a little slip knot. You're just gonna go around the hook or down, down the shank of the hook, I should say, until it comes over the point and it's gonna cinch tight like that. Now the reason you go in that way, cause now the hook is facing the line and as a fish grabs it, it's gonna pull it that way. It's just a different angle, supposedly gets you a better hook set. That's what I was taught, works well, I stick with it. Now you can have as many of those hooks as you want on your line, as long as you're obeying the regulations. Uh, at the top, I tie a swivel, however you normally would tie a swivel. We got them right here. And at the bottom, I tie whatever kind of loop I wanna use to put my weight on. I just do a little simple shoelace knot sort of thing or whatever you call it. But just something that gives you a loop. This is a, this is the loop you don't wanna use for your hook. And the reason I use it there is because it is a weaker knot. And if my lead gets stuck in a rock, we put the lead on the same way. If my lead gets stuck in a rock, I want that lead to break and to get the rest of my rig back if it's for no other reason than to just get my other terminal tackle. But a lot of times you could break off a lead and land your fish still. So the hook or the lead gets looped through there and that's the way the rig will work. Obviously you're gonna space it out a little bit more, but now I'm gonna show you how I tie it in real time. So leave room for a swivel. So I'm gonna go down maybe a foot, make that loop with mono or fluorocarbon or whatever you're using. It's gonna be, you just gotta kind of work with how the line lets you do it. But you make that X, I got my X, do a couple twists, and this is the same as a pompano rig. Three twists, take that line, put it through, hang on to it with my teeth, tighten it. I'm gonna go down, I would do it again. And then I leave enough room to put the lead on. I don't need any, actually, you know what? We'll make a full rig for you. Show you how long it takes. It really doesn't take time once you uh, get the knot dialed in. And this is one of those things, you can learn how to do this while you're sitting at home. A lot of people get so obsessed with fishing and they wanna be as prepared as possible. This is one of those good things you can do. Then I have my hook tied at the bottom. Just like that. And then let's get one of these tsunami swivels out. Tie that in at the top. And when I'm tying a bunch of these, I have at least nine of these made before I go offshore. And there's a reason why nine. But when I do it, I do it more production style. Like I'll take uh, the leader and I'll tie all the loops and drop them on the floor. And then I'll uh, pick up each rig one by one and tie a swivel on. Now my rig's done. You do not want to store these rigs with hooks. It makes it a million times harder to get them untangled. But the way I store them all is I will hold it by the swivel, wrap it around the four fingers. You got no hooks on there. It doesn't get tangled. It's really easy to set up. And then I pinch it tight. And you would think you put that in a little bag. We're not putting it in a bag because we got this. This is what I bring. If you ever collected baseball cards or anything when you were younger, that's what it is. Little bag, uh, you can order them on Amazon or anywhere online. I get nine rigs in there and you can even get ones that are double-sided to where you could have 18. 
But I use uh, nine rigs, fold them up like that, and then the top one's open, so you wanna fold that in first so that the bottom one locks it in, and it will never get tangled up. I just got a little rubber band, goes in the bag, nine rigs, ready to go. There's a little tutorial for you guys. I hope you like it, hope it helps you out. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.